Hey there everyone and welcome back to Google Guru. Today we're going to take an in-depth look at one of the most exciting things to happen to email since Gmail was first introduced about 10 years ago. I'm sure most of you have already heard about it, but we're going to cover Inbox by Gmail, the brand new email tool from Google. So this is not meant to be a complete replacement for everyone for Gmail. Some of you may be able to replace it completely, but some of you may just be able to use it sparingly uh, just here and there. So the idea of Inbox by Gmail is to give a lot more attention to the emails that are important to you and group the messages that may be a little bit less important so you can access them whenever you have time. So you can see right away that my inbox looks very different than what you are normally used to from Gmail. So all of my messages from today are grouped into this section up here at the top, and then they go chronologically down here below at the bottom. So they'll be grouped by week and then by month. And you can see in this top section here I have different groups of messages. So I have a social group right here, and then I have messages from individuals with a nice look at these group messages to see uh, exactly what's inside of those. Over here on the right, you'll see this plus button here. So this is similar to the Compose button, but it has some interesting new features. So if I hover over it, I can see some of my recent contacts. So these are people that I've sent emails to recently. So if I wanted to click on one of them, I could, and it'll just open up a new Compose window. I also have the option to create a reminder, which is really nice. So I can say, remember to email my boss tomorrow. and then I can select a time to do that. So let's say tomorrow and then save. Now going back to these messages here, if I hover over them, I can take actions on them. So I can say, I can pin a message, I can snooze a message until a later time, or I can mark it as done, which is essentially marketing as read and moving it into another section. So I've already pinned this one, so let's mark it as done for now and doing so will actually remove it from my pinned section, so I'm actually going to undo that now. Now if I want to access all of my pinned messages, I just go up here to the top and flip this switch here from my inbox to my pinned messages. So that's a really easy way to access important messages so you don't forget about them. And one of the great things about e inbox is that it lets you take action on a bunch of emails at a time that may not be important to you. So I have these emails down here at the bottom, and let's say I want to mark them all as done at once. I can just click this checkbox here and say sweep, which will mark them all as done. So that's just an easy way to clean up my inbox. Now let's go over to the top left and click on this menu button here, and then I'll open up the different sections of my inbox. So I can see inbox, snoozed, and done. So I can go see all the messages that I've marked as done. And I also have familiar options here like draft, sent, trash, and spam. Below that, you'll see some of these groups that I was referring to. These are actually called bundles. So Inbox is going to automatically group some of your messages into specific bundles like travel, purchases, social, etc. So it's a great way to access all of those messages that are very similar. So if I wanted to only see my promos, or finance messages, I can do that here. And if you want to add some customizability, which you can't do with Gmail, you can create a new bundle. So let's say I forward my messages from work to this Gmail account. So let's say I want to create a work bundle. I'll save that, and then I can set some conditions to automatically add messages to this bundle. So let's say I want to add messages that are from a specific sender, so all I need to do is add their name or their email address. And then it actually automatically starts populating here, which is really cool in real time. So I'll save that, and then close this down. And lastly, up at the top you have some familiar icons here, so I can open up Hangouts for chat, I can go to the rest of my Google Apps here, or I can search as well. So this searches in real time just like 
Google search does. So for example, if I search for guru, it'll automatically start bringing up things that are relevant to that search. So I don't even have to hit enter here, which is really nice. So that's our quick look at Inbox by Gmail. Like I said, this is not meant to be a complete replacement for Gmail, but I found after using it for a week now that it's definitely a time saver and it really does bring attention to the, ma the messages that matter most to you. And just as a reminder, Inbox by Gmail is only available for Gmail accounts, so it's currently not available for Google Apps and there's not really a specific time frame for when it will be available but just keep an eye out for that and maybe someday it'll make its way over to our Google Apps accounts. And if you have any questions about Inbox by Gmail, feel free to leave us a comment in the section below the video. Thanks.